Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. My name is Yaziel and today we want to work a little with our UI system. And um, as you know, we can move that. So we want to have in the next few videos how to save this position. And also we want to change the color from the general chat and from our name. Uh, so we need some kind of color picker and um, well, uh, at least we want to show and hide these uh, uh, windows also. So today we are starting off with hide and show the windows and uh, yeah, well, let's get started. As you can see, I cleaned out the project of all the extra windows and I guess we start with building up a few UI elements and uh, the first we want to do is this little button here. So we go into the Converse chat window, click that, right click and choose UI and I guess we want to have a button. And we call it, I uh, say, close button. Close button. So, and next we want to shift out that on top there and going for like, I don't know, 30, 30. It's just quite in the edge there and get it a little bit down like five. Yeah, five is okay. And a little out of the edge. Uh, so it's minus 10 or something like that. Okay, and now we get an, an image. Oh, that's the new Yuma stuff. Uh, where's our little clothes? There it is. And of course, we have to get rid of uh, the text. We don't need the text. Later on, we use this on click function for uh, assigning an script and uh, the next is we want to do is these windows down here so we're going on center center is just uh, an UI um, uh, panel and the center field on top is also an UI panel uh, the field is uh, uh, bound to down here in the middle and the top is uh, bound to the top um, with the width and height you want to have. So we go to the top, right click and say UI a new button. And we're going, doing basically the same. Going to bind it to the right side, going for zero and uh, width and height, I would think uh, something like 50, 50. No, it's too big, so maybe 40 to 40. And the position like 120, you know, 130, 140. Oops, that's way too much, 140. And I can see it's a little bit too small, so we go here again and say like 50 to 50 and position it a little bit down so uh, like minus 10 so it's just about in the middle of these uh, top thing and then we assign an image and uh, oops, let's see i want to have the chat image so you can see this is just a button, so I break the video a sec and I'm doing the rest of the buttons, so you don't have to look at me doing it all the way. So, since uh, we made the, all our buttons, uh, what we want to do is we want to click on here and the button will be hiding, uh, or the window will be hiding and just, uh, get it up here and um, click on it. So we need a uh, little script. That's not too complicated. We just go here, create, and we create a new C sharp script, and I call it settings because we want to do more than 
uh, only the window stuff in there. So let's get settings and open up a new script. And in the script, we want to use, um, let's see, uh, for uh, first we want to have a namespace. Uh, namespace yazil.options and going here we don't need the update and we now need to start in a moment <clears throat> and um, we have a uh, few um, variables it's a public game object game object and then chat window window so <clears throat> and then we need to have a function which we can bring in to the um, into the button and also we need of course some kind of variable so it's an private private uh, bool and uh, oops bool i said bool did i uh, i say we could say it uh, chat on off and we say it's true and then we need a function and let's um, going for a uh, public because we want to have access it from the button so public void and we call it uh, switch chat window and in the chat window we want to at first say chat on off on off is equal to not chat on off so if it's true it gets false if it's false it gets true and then we say the chat window chat window here uh, punct set active and uh, we set active to oops, to chat on off. So that's basically all we need to um, get rid of the window and get it back. So we close that and going for settings. Well, let's put the settings into the, our game manager. Script can't not be found. What's going on here? We may have to save that. Oh, there's an error. Let's see, of course, what's going on there. Save. And now we should be able to put that into our There's our settings script and we want to drag in our chat window just here and that's it. So we're going to save that. Of course, we have to fill the buttons. So we go to our window, uh, close button. We go here and say we have the game manager. And the function we want to use is from my settings and switch chat window. And the same we want to do on our button here in the center field. Chat button going for the manager settings switch chat. So then we went, save that, okay, 
we go to our login screen, push the start button and we see to, to log in. And the window is hiding and showing if we want to do that. So for adding any kind of window, we maybe use the option window. So we're going to stop and we go on to our start. In our canvas, we just go right click and say UI and we go for a uh, panel and say the panel is in the middle and well, let's say 400 to 500. Oh, I think it's too big, so maybe 350. And we going for the background and we say it's the panel and the alpha we going full size in. And we call that um, options window. <coughs> Sorry. And we go in our chat and say close button, uh, copy, paste. And we set that there also minus 10 and minus 5 or what we got there, yeah. So <clears throat> since we have the button here, we can go in our script. So in our script, we just uh, copy these. String copy, string file and say in a chat window, we say it's options window or option window, we make it single, string copy, oops. And we say, of course, here not shut on off, we say options on off and we duplicate this function and we call it switch option on off uh, as option sorry and the variable of course option 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 So we're going to save that, going back to Unity and going on our start function, our start screen, sorry, and going into the canvas. Oh no, PC is slow today. So finally the close button and we say the close button is going for settings options window and here on our center field top options button oh I gonna see there is the text in every button we don't need the text so we just can get rid of that while we are here and of course we're going to the game manager again and going in the function settings uh, switch option window so saving check that again that is switch options window and the other was also so we're going to log in again log in Okay, we close, we open, we close, and there's something wrong. It closes the wrong 
so I guess we mixed up our variables. So let's stop there, go into the script. Options on off, options on off, options on off, options on off. Ah, of course, you see here it's chat window. Of course, it has to be uh, options, option window. Window saving. Back to Unity, we have to go in our start again. And in our start, we have to go to the game manager. And you see the option window is not uh, in the settings. So we go here and uh, into our canvas and go for the options window save and back to login and log on there it is we go and close that and close that so that's basically how to you hide the windows of course we want to save our information so we want to save if the option window is closed or or opened when the player is logged off so uh, it makes sense to, to do it in the settings uh, file anyway but more of that in our next video. Uh, that's for now. Uh, if you liked this, as always, hit the like button. If you liked it even more, just uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to have the source code, just pledge to my uh, Patreon page and uh, help me out on a couple things. Thank you. Happy night.